On today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey, we are going to explore inside the top floor of this building. This used to be the Houston Astral World Hotel. And right there on that top floor, back in 1970, through those glass windows, that's where Elvis Presley stayed when he played the Houston Astrodome. Not only Elvis, but a lot of other famous celebrities. You're going to learn the history, learn the story of this place. And the place is still stuck in time. It looks just like it did when Elvis was here once upon a time, and you're going to see it. This is going to be my most epic video to date. Go get your popcorn ready. Stay tuned. So guys, this is unbelievable. This is the floor that Elvis stayed on. And he could see the Houston Astrodome. Right out from his window. This could have been his window of his bedroom. I'm not sure. But the story is that he was depressed because he didn't see anybody go into the show. Took a nap, woke up, and he saw lines and lines of fans from this view. Check out the Astrodome from up here. This is incredible. Houston Astrodome baseball field. I'm just taking it all in. I hope y'all enjoy this. Wow. That had been his elevator that he rode down. Guys, I think this is his bedroom. Wow. I've seen pictures of this room. And I've finally made it. Check out the shower. I'll be the, the water in the shower over there. Check out this picture right here that was captured right here from this angle. They were sitting right there. Man. I know Elvis stayed here, some other celebrities. God, just how glamorous this place was. I believe it was the biggest penthouse at one time. And 
the guy that built the Astrodome, I believe, he built this for himself so he could look out and see his building. Side note here, this bed was a replica of Scarlett O'Hara's bed from Gone with the Wind and is an original to this suite from 1969, so Elvis had to see this bed if he didn't sleep in it. I believe there's a picture of the president sitting right here. Let's see if I can find it. What an incredible place. Thank you, Houston, for still having this. And it's stuck in time like Elvis would have seen it. And, and on that note, perhaps Elvis's suite in Las Vegas looks similar to this one. They were made in the same time period. They're in the late 60s and in the 70s. So maybe perhaps this is the closest suite that we have to get a feeling what it really was like there in Vegas where Elvis stayed at there on the top floor of the Hilton. Perhaps, you never know. I just know this was a big time sweep back during that time period. Check out this room. That's how you loan this place hadn't been used. So this is a good break in the action to learn a little bit about the Astro World Hotel history. And that room you just saw supposedly was Michael Jackson's favorite because Michael Jackson stayed there. I guess with the Jackson 5. This is out back of the Astro World Hotel that you saw earlier in the video. Look at that cool sign there on the top of the suite where we are. Now this guy right here, this is the main man. This is the guy that built the Astro World Hotel. He built the Astro Dome. He brought the Houston Astros to Houston, Texas. This guy was a mayor of Houston. He was a judge and called the judge. This is Roy Hofheinz. And Mr. Hofheinz is a very, very instrumental person in the history of Houston, Texas. As you can see, he looks like he had a lot of uh, marketing savvy about him and, and promotional uh, savvy there. With, look at that cool mirror poster that is on his wall. Now, this fellow right here, his name was Harper Golf. And Harper, 
he uh, was friends with Walt Disney, man. Walt Disney came to Houston, Texas to check out the Astrodome, and he met Mr. Uh, Huffheins. And I guess Huffheins probably told Disney that he uh, is building a suite there at the Astro World. Could he help him out? And he called his friend Harper here. And Harper, well, he was really uh, an important figure in the Walt Disney story because he's the guy that did the, the, I guess, drawings and renderings of Main Street USA for Disneyland. Not only that, he created the Jungle Cruise that we enjoyed at Disneyland and also the Haunted Mansion. Plus, Harper Golf designed the sets for 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, he's the guy that designed that elaborate Willy Wonka set. So now you'll get a better understanding of what you're seeing in the Celestial Suite. Because this guy, here is his drawing. He's the one that created the Willy Wonka set. Roy Huff Hines gave him a blank check and just told him to create whatever he saw fit. And this is what he said about uh, Roy. He said, the penthouse represented the way the judge thought. It was my good fortune to have many hours with him planning and chewing the fat over ideas. The judge gave me a free hand and nobody second guessed me. The final product was unparalleled. So now check out this room right here. Now the guy in the middle is Vice President Nelson Rockefeller. Now look at those books there in the left. Just keep that in mind because you're going to see this room here as we explore more of the Celestial Suite. Here is uh, Mr. Hofheinz in the suite there at the Astrodome, smoking his famous cigar. Across the street was the Astro World USA. It's not there any longer. I think it was bought out by Six Flags in 05. But that was the Astro World USA, and you can stay here at the Astro World Hotel if you go to Astro World USA or, as you see in the distance, the famous Astro Dome where Elvis played in 1970 and 1974. Look at the Elvis, Elvis, Elvis on the uh, scoreboard up above him on the stage. Look at all those folks there behind Elvis. Here's Elvis with a fan. This could have been up in the suite. I'm going to be looking for those poles there. But this picture, he had a press conference back at the Astro World Hotel after the show. And this could have been captured after that show, as well as this photo with the colonel and a lot of the guys in the cowboy hats. That photo could be up in the suites where we are exploring as well. Here's Elvis Presley's check dated February the 2nd, 1970. And you see Astro World Hotel. $2,042.53 EA Presley. So no doubt Elvis Presley was here. And I have a check here on the screen to prove it. Not only Elvis, but his friend, the greatest of all times, Muhammad Ali, would stay here when he was the boxing champion of the world. He stayed in the suites. President Lyndon B. Johnson stayed here multiple times. He really loved the suite, the Astro World Hotel. Also, Blue Eyes himself. Frank Sinatra stayed here. And Blue Eyes' friend, and Elvis's friend, Sammy Davis Jr., also I can place in the suite. Here's one last fact about the suite. In 1977, the year Elvis died, the Astro World Hotel would make the Guinness Book of World Records as the most expensive suite in the world. So now, let's get back inside and explore this abandoned celestial suite that Elvis Frank Sinatra, Muhammad Ali, and the list goes on. And Glow Trading Tree once was, once upon a time. So one of these rooms may have been Elvis's. Could have happened here. Check that out, guys. There's a view of the Astrodome. So that story could have taken place in here, in the clown room. This would have been where Colonel Parker would have liked to stay. Perhaps this was the room. I doubt it, right? I think it was the first one, that big red. And this 
this light is on. A funny thing that I read said that when Elvis first came into this suite, he said it was too gaudy for his tastes, which is kind of funny knowing what Elvis did at Graceland with the uh, jungle room and uh, other areas in that house. Of course, that could just be one of those fake Elvis stories, which many are out there. So I'm not saying Elvis really said that. I just know it's reported him saying that. P.J. Barnum sweet. <laughs> Man. I'm not going to walk all the way over because I don't know. If it's been walked on in years. So there's another view of it. You can see how little it looks now compared to the new arenas. But look at that. That used to be the biggest arena in the world. Too small for Elvis. This could have been Diamond Joe's room now. Once again, here's that photo of the president, Nelson Rockefeller, having a meeting in a room in the suite. Check the bookcase out. There's that bookcase all these years later. The place has not changed very much. And that photo definitely was captured in this room once upon a time. <laughs> Look at the monkeys. This could be Scatter's room. If he still had them at that point. I know the place is not being used, but this is historic. I hope that they see this video and realize the importance of the history. And I think people would love to just walk in here and experience this. I appreciate you guys allowing me to film. Here's a room. So I think we've covered it, guys. You never know. Could that have been Elvis' room? I still think it's this one. And 
And that's Elvis's bed. That's probably the same one he used. <laughs> yeah, he's laughing at me. This had to be his room, guys. Had to be. So yeah, so he was depressed, went and took a nap right here, and probably walked up those stairs and looked out that window and saw all you people lining up at the Houston Astrodome. Elvis, once upon a time, was in this room. Probably nervous as ever, because he's about to play the biggest show of all time. Imagine the fun you could have had in there with all you pretty girls come and hang out in my suite for glow trotting with Trey. <laughs> and there's a chance, guys. There's a chance that Elvis saw this. Probably the elevator, guys. Or this one. Incredible. So I think this was turned into a nightclub. So you see the cool layup and he had these installed to keep up with the score from across the street at the Astrodome. So you could be up here. You see the Astrodome? You could be up here and watch the score live. I've been wanting to see those. So when they hit a home run, that baseball would light up. This one thing is worth the whole trip, guys. Cost me a lot of money to be here, though. The Astro, Astrodome star. I'm still saying Elvis came over here and saw that crowd from here. What a great story. Thanks for watching this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, just give me a like, share, and comment. If you're ever in Houston, Texas, stay here at the Wyndham now that you know a little more of the history of this building. 
And now that you know that Elvis Presley stayed right up on that top floor when he played the Houston Astrodome in 1970. So now you know a little bit more of the history of the Houston Astral World Hotel right here at the Wyndham. And right up there, all those famous people once was, once upon a time. Thanks for watching.